Well, you know, we're here today. Uh, you know, Nettleton always have uh, a Christmas open house. It's, some, it's an annual event that they normally have. Uh, this right here is our second year participating in it uh, for fine simplicity. Simplicity. <laughs> no, fine simplicity. <laughs> no, same thing. Anyway, yes, yeah, so we're here because it is Christmas open house for the city of Nettleton. Um, Christmas is my favorite holiday, so I'm bringing in all the whimsical, all of the holiday magic here at the store. Um, and we are just going to have a good time today. Good vibes. Wearing our jammies, setting the tone. You got me in my drawers, man. <laughs> <laughs> man. You got me in my drawers, man. I'm not, you know, the holidays, man, I'm, I'm, I'm not too big on. I mean, I'm Thanksgiving, Christmas, I mean, it, it, I don't get excited about it. I do. I get very excited about it. <laughs> I love Christmas, and ever since we had children, it does bring back in that holiday magic, belief, all of the magical things that Christmas brings. I know that Christmas is known to be like a commercial retail world, which is part of our world also, but I love the fact that it teaches children to believe in what they cannot see, and you know, we are faith-based people, but I think that's the start of belief, is when children are using their imagination to believe and practice belief during the holidays. It still brings in the Jesus being the reason for the season right now. That's what I think. I ain't too big on Christmas. You know, I'm, <laughs> it's, just, it's just another day that, that you know, you gotta, you gotta put out, you gotta spend some money, man. Yeah, I just don't get too excited about it. I'm too old to get excited about anything anyway. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> um, I gotta have on Thanksgiving. I'm not crazy about Thanksgiving, but I, I love a, a good beverage and a nice meal. Um, I do contribute to Thanksgiving. I usually don't host Thanksgiving, but I do contribute to the food. We have some pretty popular ones that the Burks have now liked. I will allow them to tell you the names of those meals that I prepare for the holidays. <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> we can't do that. But uh, I like I like ham. I like the ham and I like the dressing. You don't like? Yeah, she says she don't like the ham. I don't know why. I don't like holiday ham. I don't like ham in general. Yeah. You're missing out. No. But I do like dressing. I do love dressing. Mm -hmm. I do a really good sweet potato casserole that I enjoy. Mm -hmm. Everyone enjoys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I do a nice meatloaf. <laughs> it's an inside joke, so we we go <laughs> We go share the inside joke, but uh yeah, you can't beat it though. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, this year, I'm, I'm most thankful for, uh, number one, my wife and the relationship that we have. Uh, my kids, man, uh, I'm leaning into more, having, having a better relationship with them, uh, being a little bit more present, uh, taking some time out from, you know, my everyday job and work that I'm doing just to, you know, really lean into them and, you know, having them to, you know, be with me, get to know who I am more other other than being a father you know um like i say family i'm thankful for these opportunities that i have uh, i'm working on completing a whole lot of things this year uh the event center uh new constructions airbnb so uh, i'm thankful just to have the health that i have right now being able to get up to complete those uh those things I agree. I'm thankful for my husband and our relationship because relationships grow. We've been together since we were teenagers, like we talked about on the last episode. So yeah, just growing together, early 20s. We've been together a long time, yeah, sir. So I'm just grateful for not for the longevity, but also allowing ourselves to grow with one another instead of simply like growing apart or changing because from early 20s and teenagers to your mid 30s you're two different people from the you know that time and to continue to grow and still love one another over time I'm very grateful for that um 
I too am grateful for to live in my purpose and I feel like I'm being obedient, doing what I'm supposed to do, helping people find simplicity, however that means, you know, whatever that means to that client or that customer at the time, helping my husband with his job and everything else that he does, just being his rib and supporting him and, and doing what I'm supposed to do there. And um, our children, of course, I'm grateful for their health and I'm thankful for a lot. I'm thankful for it all, grateful for it all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, listen here, we got a special guest. My big brother. <laughs> but look, G, what you doing? You falling over? <laughs> this is my big brother, man. This is G. Me. Big little brother. Oh, this is my big brother, man. This is G. G is such a good um, help with us when it comes to being an uncle. He's extremely hands-on with our little ones. A huge help here at Simplicity. I currently don't have any other employee other than him right now. So I'm the district there. manager. <laughs> he's my <laughs> district manager. He's been my right hand the entire time. Yeah. Um, and we love him. He's a little brother I prayed for when I was a little girl. <laughs> man, I'm glad he I'm glad he's helping us out, man, because it's it's you know, it's we need it right now. Yeah, we do need all the help we can get. You know, it's hard to find good help. Throw him a little change. <laughs> a whole lot of money. <laughs> Man, yeah. So JJ's role at Simplicity is being incredibly supportive to me. However, in general, he is very opinionated when it is not necessary. Um, right about now, he is probably taking another beverage down in there, socializing yeah, with the customers on the floor and being Got a little drink um, over there too. not behind the counter and checking out little anybody. Little He's not doing know? that right now. He's probably leaving it all up to our brother. So this holiday season, I am most excited to spend some downtime with our brother. He is one of my most favorite people in the whole world. Um, he's usually on, on my side of the sofa here when it comes to JJ and everybody else. We are so much alike. So he even says that um, JJ feels like he, he feels like JJ was adopted. Like, <laughs> like we're actually siblings and JJ is adopted. <laughs> and just like every household, we have a couple of relatives that we know are going to be a little bit more. Um, Friday afternoons. Best Thanksgiving dish. Sweet potato casserole. Favorite holiday, Christmas or Thanksgiving? Christmas. Why? Because it's amazing. Everything about it is glitter, gold, bold, fun, fabulous, whimsical, magic. It's just the best. Any Christmas tradition? Yes, karaoke, lots of drinking, eating, music. It's just a turn up. Um, a key takeaway from the experience at Simplicity is probably to start in October getting prepared for everything. I tried my best, but like G is the only help I have right now. So I just need to make sure everything inventory wise is in the computer. I mean, we were here last night at like seven tag and stuff. So we need, we need more time. More time is the key takeaway. So because I do a lot of interior styling, the store changes often. Some people in business say that's not good, but I think it's always good to have a fresh start because my base of what I do is staging. I enjoy to, I enjoy seeing something new. So every couple months I try, try to flip the floor a little bit. Um, so we started flipping the store late October. I started decorating the trees and pre prepping things in the back. I started orders in January, getting things in for Christmas, January of 2022. So all of that was prepped like a year in advance, but actual space plan in the floor, it probably took me about two months to get ready to get things actually out on the floor and change. It would have been shorter if I had my own. Hi, my name is Gaston Burks. A lot of y'all know me as G. Some of y'all call me JJ Burks, the brother. I work at Simplicity, you know, just to help them out. I call myself the DM. I mean, I'm, JJ say he called the shots, but I mean, I call the shots. I mean, it is what it is. If it weren't for me, it wouldn't be a Simplicity. <laughs> Usually when I come in and it's Simplicity, they call me the tech guy. I'm a, I love technology and all that stuff. If something go wrong, 
I'm the one to fix it. Bug and JJ, they don't like doing the labels, they don't like doing the prices. So whenever you walk in the store, you see a price, don't get mad at me if it's, you know, too much, but I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I do the pricing, I do the, I do the technology. If there's something go wrong, I'm the one they call it. JJ, y'all know that's my big brother, but man, he, he a handful. Right now, I don't know what he doing over there. I mean, hey, uh, they doing the church. No. You know that? No. <laughs> Probably way too much. Right. I mean, but he's my big church, brother. Though. I love him. Hey, I look hike. up to him. Like that's, JJ, he's my motivation on everyday life. Now, Bug, people always say, oh, that's, that's JJ, bro. No. Yeah, I feel like me and Bug is brother and sister, and we just adopted JJ. Because, I mean, me and Bug bond is real close, but I feel like her bond is what brought me and JJ closer, even though we are real close and we probably couldn't get any closer, but she did it. Something about me, Christmas is really not, you know, I, I like it. I mean, I like the activities of it, but Thanksgiving, that's my holiday. I like, I mean, chicken and dressing, the ham, the macaroni and cheese. If I don't have a double egg on my plate, that's when I'm having a bad day because I gotta have it on my plate. The yams, I mean, Thanksgiving is more important to me because I like food more than Christmas. I ain't gonna put Christmas down, but I'd rather have Thanksgiving than I have Christmas. The relative I'm most excited to see during this holiday season will probably be my uncles, Uncle Leon and Uncle Gary. I mean, we're real close. I really don't see them a lot, but I would love to see them this coming up Thanksgiving. Hopefully that'll be there next Thursday. We got this one relative named Rakina Burks. Y'all probably know her, but I'm telling you, every family function, she gonna be the one to be like, oh, that's that cousin right there walking in. Y'all better be careful. She don't got no filter. It don't matter what she say. She gonna say what she wants to say. I can't wait to see Rakina. I love Rakina. The best, if we watch this every Christmas, all three of them, Friday, next Friday, and Friday after next. It's a Christmas tradition. We watch it on Christmas Eve, and we just let it play through the whole Christmas. Love that movie, Christmas. My one key takeaway from working with Bug and Simplicity is like, it gets me more on the business side on things, on how to actually run things and make stuff be more time efficient. People think it's crazy that the store is already, you know, decorated for Christmas, but when you in retail, you have to do a season ahead of time. So when it comes to me learning my experience and working with them, it's good on the business side to me because that's what I want to do with business. When I, well, I, not when I get older, because I'm already older, but it's one of my goals in life to do. Man, Rosa right now. Hey! Welcome to Sims Business. And you get you a bag. You're telling me, this is cool. <laughs> Greeting everybody to walk in, you know, real extra, butterfly around the whole place. Hi, I mean, good. Thank you for stopping by. Well, Rosa, her, well, I ain't gonna say Rosa, because Bug, her role is to make sure everything is going, you know, right. Uh, I'm giving her everything that she would like. Uh, this right here is a complete blessing for her. Um, and everything that she dreamed about, that's what she's doing now. Uh, that's her role, uh, to like just live in her purpose and, you know, just to make everything come, you know, full circle. So that's her role, just to make sure everything's good. And I'm trying to make sure that she's happy while she's doing it. The relative I'm most excited to see is G. That's my big brother, man. Love to see G coming over for the holidays. I already know it's gonna be a good time. Uh, we gonna have a good time. I don't care wherever we go. This is gonna be, it's gonna be, we're just gonna kick it, we're gonna chill. We're gonna have a couple, uh, couple of drinks, and, you know, have a good time. Is that person that, that come over on the holiday that you know gonna have a good time and be that person? It gotta be Michael Burks. Michael Burks is gonna come over. It's no, it's 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 pure entertainment. Like you, you never know what this cat is gonna do. But we all love him. We also we all accept him from who he is, man. It's just all good. It's all it's all out of fun and you know good love. So 
Michael Burks is the, is the name. Transforming the store with, with Bob, you gotta get it done now. Like it's, it's no gaps, it's nothing. Like she gonna sit there and she gonna work me till I gotta go to sleep. I mean, it's time, like she worked me so much. I gotta, I gotta take a nap. I'm like, man, where you get all this energy from? Baby, you you going on, you know, you in your mid 30. I can't do I can't work like that, man. It'll probably take a whole four or five hours. Cause she's working, like she's so dedicated to the job, man, that uh when she wants something done, the night before she already has it, she has it written out. It's just, it's crazy, you know, about her work ethic and how she's driven to get the job done. My favorite dish is mac and cheese. Best Christmas movie of all time. Friday after next. Best dish that I make for holiday. It's everything. I don't miss every dish. Oh, well, no, I'm still working on my pound cake, man. Uh, <laughs> I got it right one time, but you know me, I was trying to show off, uh, you know, for the social media, and I was pouring my egg into my batter. <laughs> I think a whole egg just went somewhere else, man, and I couldn't get it right, bro. It's like, when I took it out, the cake wasn't fluffy, it just fell in. And I was, and I was mad, man. I, I spent all that money on trying to make that pound cake, and I done, I done hyped everybody up about this pound cake, and it failed. One key takeaway from, you know, finding simplicity when it comes down to it, um, I just want to make sure my wife has the, the right help. Um, I step in a whole lot, and that's what I'm supposed to do. Um, I feel as a man, and I feel as being a husband, not only being someone that could provide, also support her, and also step in step in the gap when I'm needed. Um, man, I I push I push my schedule away. Uh, just to give her what she wants in this store. Uh, that's what I do, because I really want her to be happy. Uh, I'm not only just providing for her, you know, financially, I also want to provide her with being happy on some things. You know, I want her to be very content uh, because that's somebody that really, you know, polished me up to be the person that I am now. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm thankful for her, so. That's, that's why I, I step up to the plate. My name is Jamie Malone Hawkins and I love Simplicity because it holds a special place in my heart because one of my best friends owns this place. Her name is Rosa, of course. And me and her were roommates at Ole Miss and her lovely husband and I were classmates too. And we have always had just a, such a great time together. And I can, I would never not come to Simplicity because they have all the great stuff here, the best spread, the best Christmas stuff. But I absolutely love Rosa and JJ. And I'll give you a little bit of a fun story. So Rosa and I lived together at Ole Miss for a couple of years. And JJ just thought he had to be like us. And so he tried to come over there and live with us a lot, but we kind of just scooted him on out most of the time. But we always had a good time when we were together and went to the square and always had fun. So, love y'all. Uh, my name's Katie and this is my sister Corey and my nephew Balch uh, Kent. Um, we love coming to Simplicity. Uh, everything here is just absolutely beautiful. The decorations, um, the Ronaldo bracelets, you know, we just love shopping here, shopping local. Um, it's, you know, so, so um, important to us to shop small. So. We, uh, we love the girls and guys here, so we really enjoy shopping with them place to be. I am here with my line sisters. We like to call ourselves the Sweet 16 because they're so sweet to me. They give me so much support. I absolutely love our sorority, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. And yes, we support our, all our sisters and all their endeavors. Our sisterhood, we feel, is unbreakable and unshakable. And we believe in serving each other as well as the community. So we would not, dare not be here to support Rosa in her endeavors and her holiday, holiday event. And we're excited to be here and spend money with her as well. <laughs> 
thank you so much to everybody for coming out. It's been an awesome, awesome Christmas open house. We absolutely have loved every experience here today. We really appreciate it. Look, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You better always keep it real to me, even though I'm in my drawers. Always keep it simple. You got me in my drawers today. You'll be all right. <laughs>